You're We're alive. alive. Hello and welcome to Final Boss Fight. My name is Jeff and I'm joined this evening by, in no particular order, Ben. Hello. Tanny. <laughs> and Sean. I never asked for this. And I lied, it was the order that you appear on my um, screen in 20. <laughs> it was a particular order. No. So we are going to play some Expanse RPG. And hello, John, also known as Final Boss Fight Live. So John is here. Oh, God. Yeah, Wait, does yes, that mean we have to behave? <laughs> so... <clears throat> I, so, anybody want to remind us what happened last time we met? We uh, shot lots of dudes and saved and saved a, a, a boy, I a boy person. I, let me try and remember. So, I think I remember the time where we recently just left a, uh, Ganymede and we had to go back again because we had to deal with this guy's son who went missing. And so, we had to go to the place that he was working at. I don't know, it was a restaurant or something. And, and so, and this music's getting really intense. Let me just say, <laughs> it's getting so intense in my ears. I was like, oh God. I was like, for the recap. <laughs> <laughs> and so later on, um, we had to go and find out what's going on. Um, turns out he's been dirty dealings with some sort of gang, I think. And so we went to this place and we found him. And yeah. Very, yeah, oh, I think right. that's about, that about covers it. I was um, just going to say that we went on a political mission and uh, <laughs> was rather successful. I was going to say we shot some guys and then we got a person and brought him back to his dad. Oh, yes. Yeah, so, um, Rick, um, Bert managed to orchestrate a rather interesting three way gunfight between the local Pinkwater security, the OPA, and the local Gregor, the gang. Which I thought was quite, I still think it's quite impressive, actually. Well, I, I try my best. Yeah. Well, tonight we are in a um, we are on our way back from um, Titan, which is where you delivered um, the gentleman's son. And let's see where you are on the map. Titan is here on the map, yep. and the <clears throat> um, the the father um, Dad. Dardanius, his company dealt in transporting luxury goods and supplies and on your way back to Tycho Station your ship is full of various fine wines, fine cheeses, various luxuries that are very expensive. Which oh will god, you. there's so much cheese. <laughs> and they'll net you a very tidy sum when you finally reach Tycho Station. Oh, we're supposed to be selling it? Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you can take some of it yourself, that's fine, it's just that there's less to sell when you get back to Tycho. It's a difficult decision, there's no yeah. denying. It takes you about, what, it'll take you about 10 days. It's a 10 day journey from Titan to Tycho, so... As usual, there are various shipboard activities you can take part in. And let's move you to the ship. <laughs> um, I think at the moment, um, Kira is in the, in the on the flight deck and Bert is teaching her how to fly the ship. Oh. Um, Kira, and this is the indicator. <laughs> this is a turn. Yeah, we're, we're, we ain't going to be using that too much. <laughs> Kira, can you make me a dexterity piloting roll, please? Okay. Uh, no bonuses. <laughs> oh, God, we're all going to die! Wow. <laughs> That's a good one, actually. So. Um, you're taking to it really well. It's like you. It's like you were born in the seat, born in the saddle. Bert is just Finally. looking. Bert is just looking on, going, "Wow, this is better than I am. What's what's going on?" I certainly wasn't expecting it. <laughs> um, down in the engineering bay, Brickev is busy pottering around, um, doing some maintenance. Not nothing too strenuous. Just making sure. So like, why does this fucking lad always come fucking loose? <laughs> Making sure all the plugs are plugged in, that should be plugged in, and make sure nothing is leaking gas that shouldn't be leaking gas, that sort of thing. Uh, this thing's always been dripping. <laughs> Ignore that, that's 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 fine. We don't it's worry just, about that. I think it's more atmosphere. <laughs> it's actually, yeah, it's, yeah, the air of the ship is actually leaking out through one tiny little hole in the thing, and it's, uh, it's fine, don't worry we about could, it. We got plenty. <laughs> Did you uh, remember to put the gun back on it? <laughs> uh... 
I, I upgraded. Got some blue tack. Ah, nice. Blue tack, really? <laughs> Here at Brickev, hey, are you, you want... dissing my fucking blue tack? <laughs> yes, I am. You big oaf. <laughs> Kira and, Blue, Kira and Brickev, do you want to do your usual fight, or shall we just jump to the part where Kim, Kira loses in humiliation? <laughs> I'll go fuck yourself. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure Kira now wants to suddenly fight something called the GM. <laughs> what is yeah, this GM? <laughs> Wait till the 25th of January. Then, then I'm I'll warning do. you, find that GM guy is a terrible feat. He's never been defeated just yet. Oh, wow. <laughs> John is querying the use of blue tack in ship repairs. <laughs> Someone else dissing my fucking blue tack. <laughs> hey, no, you fucking live, John. <laughs> calm down, calm down. The evil alien and we, GM. We have plans. We have plans. <laughs> and the main idea is of. Yeah, we eventually we're thing. going to stick some sellotape over the blue tack. <laughs> hey, if we can afford it. We're going to get us some nice duct tape. Duct tape fixes everything. Don't you forget that. I don't uh, know. I think Gorilla Glue does pretty good. Are you kidding me? Gorilla I fixed glue. my marriage with a with duct tape. It's that was before I fell apart marriage? again, but never mind. You're married? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Was that, I fixed my marriage with duct tape. <laughs> By all means, that was marriage two or five, but still. <laughs> okay, you are about three days into your ten-day journey, and um, you receive a signal, very low-level signal, being broadcast. And I can't do radio voices properly, so I'm just going to... Let's go with it and say it's. Who tried to put the Nokia theme tone? I was going to say, my God, there's a Nokia 3310. It is actually a distress call. Distress call? A distress call, yes. You track it down very easily, even though it's very low frequency. It's from. Coming from somewhere about, if you travel, if you accelerate to 1G, it'll take you about eight hours to get there. Of course, you could go faster and get there quicker, which might be interesting. Mm. Break, break, break! <laughs> right. Everyone together for a second here. You two, you're going to have to arm wrestle or something later. Uh, I wasn't uh, buying to do it anyway. <laughs> what are you talking about? We've, got, we've upgraded the Conkers. <laughs> Regardless. Regardless, uh, we have a, a situation going on here, and we need to make a decision as a, as a group, as a team, mm -hmm. as to whether or not we're going to go and assist this situation. There's a distress call about eight hours click, you know, roughly that direction. And he just waves now, into like general direction over there somewhere. Now, we currently are flying through space. <laughs> and only got a few days into our course and uh, we are hauling some very precious cargo but at the same time as the distress signals there's a very good chance that someone might just need some help is this help worth anything well I, I don't know I and mean, the signal seemed very weak, but we can always try and get through. Mm, suggest poor quality equipment. I'm not really going to be bothered with this. <laughs> well, it's, it might be better just got poor equipment there, but maybe not for the whole I mean, thing. This cheese ain't going to keep forever. <laughs> I mean, the other thing which we need to question is uh, what kind of trouble they're actually in. Because oh. if it's going to cause us more trouble, we might be losing our cargo. Could be losing the cargo, could be losing the ship, it could be a trap. I don't want to lose my ship. It brings me serenity. <laughs> uh, Wrong series. <laughs> I said it brings me serenity. I didn't say we call it. But... Yeah, it didn't say it bring back serenity. Some <laughs> <laughs> in the background there. <laughs> anyway, so we have we have an option here. We can either stay our course, hope that someone else maybe goes and finds them, and solves whatever issue is going on, but we rest assured uh, have good control on what we have. We can try and get some more information out at least and see if maybe there's a, a potential profit to be made from them and all. If you check your um, sensor readouts, you are the only ship around for miles and kilometers. The other side of things other. is depending on what <laughs> difficulty they're going through. 
whether we might even be able to get there in time. Say if they've been attacked or something. Because we don't know what's been causing them their issues. If they've been attacked and there's someone else trying to destroy them, perhaps blocking our senses so we can't tell that they're there, we might just be walking straight into a trap. Seems like it. I mean, I'm thinking this thing's a trap anyway, but... <laughs> I really hmm. didn't want to risk it. I don't know what we're thinking. It's just a trap just for the sake of what we're currently hauling. <laughs> but I'm I not liking know. the looks of it. Yeah, I, I mean... I know that at the moment there's no there's no payday in this. So, well, we can salvage, try and salvage we, is very valuable. If if if, and if there's nothing there, that there's probably be a lot. Although of salvage is pretty well, valuable, let's go. <laughs> mind you, mind you, mind you. Hold on. <laughs> now, depending on what nerve is causing that issue, if we're just going for the salvage, we could mark roughly where it is and come back finding it later. Space is awfully big, and there's a good chance that no one's going to be flying by them anytime soon. Well, That's in which cool. case, if they are truly at risk, well, we'll be going into a nice empty ship and we can take whatever we want. <laughs> it, um, would, it would take you about two weeks to get uh, back sounds here. Pretty, <laughs> sounds pretty fishy to me. Yeah, I suppose it should have a look at the very least, see if there's anything shiny. I like shiny things. Is there any way that we might be able to take a better look at this situation without going over there? Um... You can tune your sensors to um, better scan that area of space, if you wish. Make it so. Okay, so, um, go to... Make it so, number GM. <laughs> let's, go to, let's go to this one. So, the image clears and you see a ship, and this ship is, um, this ship is under power, but the this, this ship that you see appears to be drifting, and as you look at it, it's um, paint is looks like it's a Martian military ship and it just looks like it's just like dead in space not moving at all there might be awesome shit on a, Mars, on a military ship that's true but uh, tell me is any of the cargo which we're currently hauling illegal by any, no, it's by all any form it's of all perfectly measure. legal cargo Actually, and the other side of things, we're not sensing anything else which might be around these guys uh, as far as you can see everything is clear um, just the kosher. Let me check something. Things. Can you? We're not, we're not like just making sure on our ship we don't have like sprawled over the side. Earthers are the best, right? <laughs> no, that's up to you guys, actually. <laughs> um, make me all of you make me perception checks. Perception, but yeah. you get to add two uh -huh. to yours. Very nice. What, who do you see? Can, just... can I have a gut feeling about something? You can have an intuition about something, Roll yes. Perception. Intuition. I'm just going to. I've got a nine. Fifteen. And a drama die. Uh, okay. Um. Yeah. You don't pass. You don't. You don't see it. You don't pass it. But um, Rick Evan Kira, as far as you can see, it's just a ship dead in space, power and um, powerless, and. This, you don't see any signs of life on board. If this distress signal is coming from there, um, it's a ship. It's it's valuable. It's a Martian ship. They may want it back. You'll get something out of it anyway. Uh, you can strip the copper out of the wires. <laughs> true. Brick F has pulled a bag of jelly babies out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> what have I told you about stealing from the from the sweet shops? They're for kids, man. But I like jelly babies, okay? <laughs> Takes, puts hand in the bag and grabs some jelly babies and goes all in. Oh, don't you go and... You're encouraging him. What have I told you about that? It's not my fault. I don't know what you're talking about. So you guys going to go for it? Going to answer this dress call? All right. On a count of three, one by one we say I or nay. Kira. I... Forgive. Aye. Well, the eyes have it regardless of what I say. Let's make a course. I'm so glad this is all I had prepared for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, Sonara, let's have the... <laughs> in that case, the Titan! <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, it take, um, if, you, um, if you accelerate to 1G, it's a bit uncomfortable for Brick Evan Kira, but 
Nothing too bad. Well, well, hang on, hang on, hang on. Are we fast or are we just going roughly in their direction? What do we mean, guys? Are mm-hmm. we going fast? I, I mean, you take, uh, take it easy, I would say. I mean, we need to get there pretty quick before someone else finds it, but at the same time, <laughs> One G. we don't want to go, we don't want to go rushing in in case <laughs> suddenly, oh look, the power's back on, and their weapons, oh bangy bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I, yeah, I wouldn't, you know, <laughs> go rushing in just in case. I would say take it easy, swift, All swift right. and you know. Well, what I suggest, Ben, is that we, uh, we go at a decent pace to start off with, Re- relatively quick, but we're going to slow down before we come into close quarters with them. That's give fine. ourselves a bit of breathing room. Okay, so you start the drive going um, at a comfortable half G. Yeah. Um, probably takes you best part of 12, 14 hours. When you get That's close, fine. when you get close, you cut the drive and you maneuver next to it. The maneuvering thrusters. Um, you line up your airlock with their airlock and fire some grapple magnetic grapples across to hook yourself over. Docking collar extends, linking your ship to their ship. But you notice when the docking collar connects, there's no oxygen on their side of the ship. On their side. Oh, for Pete's sake. So if you're gonna... Fuck's sake. Right. <laughs> so you're going to have to go over there in oh, vacuum geez. suits. Right, you are. Well, you heard the system. <laughs> All right, so. Everyone, suit up. And let me uh, put you on. As a, as a curiosity, uh, do we have any security measures for the sake of our own ship? Um, you like can... a kill switch of some sort? You can lock. You can secure the airlock. You can um, lock out the drive. Lock out the drive and control so that only you can operate it. I feel bad about that. I think that sounds like a good idea to do. Just in case. <laughs> well, you never know. This seems like it could be quite the dangerous situation. Oh, don't mind. I'm still. Gonna, I'm, this is still screaming trap at me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, I, I definitely think that we're walking into a trap. But we need to play this nice and smart now. Everything has to be done carefully. Okay, so you're going across to the ship? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Indeed. So I'm trying something different with this map. Let me see how it goes. Um, you oh are... my god, this place is very small. <laughs> it will open up in a minute. Um, so you... Good. So you are at the airlock, and you notice there is no power to the airlock, but there is emer- but the emergency power looks okay, so... Somebody wants to make me an intelligence technology check to see how long right, it takes I to think that's, um, that's my cue there. Intelligence we'll technology? Money. Yep. Here we go. No modifiers, right? No modifiers, sorry. Damn it. 17. Oh, you make that look very easy. Well, I'm good. <laughs> and the airlock hisses open. Like that. <laughs> if you wish to, you may move in to the ship proper. Yeah, maybe we should be uh, taking a look in first. Can we see anything from where we're standing? Um, you see a table. It looks like this sort of table where people would put their gear while putting it on. You see things floating around. Um, the gravity appears to, since the ship is not under motion, there's no gravity. So you see um, things like a couple of... Th- um, a helmet floating around, possibly a clip a pad or something floating around. Your suits are equipped with magnetic boots, so you can use them to walk normally. Well, that's at least something. All right, then. Hmm. One small step for me. <coughs> I see something really in the distance here. You're really going to use that joke, Bert? Okay. Um, so hey, it's see- a classic. <laughs> well, and then see- what, what the hell is that from? Is it from a film? My dear God, you need to learn some history. <laughs> Bert, in the distance, you see a figure, and it looks like its arm is outstretched with a gun pointing towards you. We come in peace. We heard your distress signal. We've come to offer our assistance. The figure does not move. At all. No, it's- I'm probably thinking he's to pray. Are you dead? Possibly. <laughs> I'm going to slowly walk towards you now. I would appreciate it if you do not shoot. 
aiming at him just in case. <laughs> oh, well, right up next door. Okay, there. as you get closer to him, you see that he is in fact dead. He is motionless. You notice that his the faceplate. He is wearing a vac suit similar to yours, but you notice that his faceplate has been shattered. Uh, terrible way to go. Uh, by the looks of things, does it look like it was uh, caused by a per person smashing it, or maybe accident, or is it hard to tell? Hard to tell at this point. You just see the flecked this fragments of glass floating around his head. You can also turn your characters because. Um, to if you want to look further I've, around, I've seen we've got like field field of view. Ooh. <laughs> Kira, I ask you now. Did yeah. you bring your? Did you bring Dizzy with you? Yeah, of course I'll bring Dizzy with me. If you wish to, you can send. Dizzy, if you wish to, you can send Dizzy out for scouting if uh, you want to. There we go. Guys, by the way, mm -hmm. am I the only one seeing people with guns in these doorways? Those well, are lockers. They contain suits of armor. Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> they look like, but to you, they look like Martian medium armor, which you're very familiar with coming from Mars. Interesting. The doors, since there's no power, you can't actually get to them. Well, that's fine. I'm sure that one way or another we can get to those later, can we? Uh... I don't know. It's pretty shiny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we can get to them later, can't we? It's pretty, I, it's just, it's we will get to them later. We'll, <laughs> we'll do that later. We'll it's we'll not, figure it's that not out. Shiny, it's... <laughs> uh, Once, if you want them, you have to find a way to get the power back on. Uh, I, I reckon we might be able to find a way to dive for some power across if necessary. We'll get the power just back on. At the end of yeah, the... things are going around here first. We don't know what knows happened yet. At the end of the chamber, you see a, um, a opening in the floor that looks like it's an elevator. And I should really put some music on for this. Bear with. Interesting. Uh, I want to very carefully to lie down on the floor. In, may do that, yep. And scooch my head so I can get a look down. The There's a Xenomorph! <laughs> The elevator shaft oh continues downwards. It looked like it looks like it continues down for another um, two decks. God, I wish we had some gravity. I'd throw something down there. We could get a rough idea of how deep <laughs> it is. Mind you, with no gravity, we do have another beautiful option. Uh, with these, uh, this here elevator. Yes. Are the uh, the walls of it made of metal? Um, yes. And we have some lovely magnetic boots. Do indeed. So we can absolutely walk up and down this yep. elevator shaft as much as we want to. If you look up the elevator shaft, you see it continues up for possibly another five decks. Interesting. And all ships are built the same. The flight deck is at the, toward, is at the top of the ship. The engineering is at the bottom of the ship. Uh I was going to ask that, considering that I had a, a recollections about the armor, I didn't know, maybe I might have known this military vehicle. Yes. So, so top would, no, so top would be up? Yes. Right. Well, perhaps if we head up first, we can get to the command deck. Okay. We might be able to find out what's going wrong there first. And also, along that line, if we can get power going around again, We've from there we'll be able to send out a nice little message to see if there are any survivors. Okay. Like... Thing I think is if we also turn power on, there might be defenses. There might yeah. be indeed, but we'll just be careful about that side of things. And as we'll you keep go, an eye out. as you're walking through the um, beep on the distress signal, because your you have your arms, the arms of your suits have hand terminals, and the distress signal is kill, still coming in from somewhere above you. All right. I reckon then that. That their command center is probably going to be our best shot. Okay. Um, so, so at least we start walking up, we can see if we get on potentially the same level, or at least close to it. Okay, um, I'll put you on the next deck, upwards. I'm blind. No, I can see. Yeah. I can see. <laughs> so, if you move forward... Alright. You see three locked doors. They, um... They have... Na they... They're the sort of doors that you'd expect um, for crew members. They have names on the outside. You can try and open if you wish to try and open one. 
Uh, for the sake of it, does the signal seem to be coming from any one of these? Uh, no. The signal does not get any stronger as you approach these doors. Yeah, I thought it was worth a try. Mm. Yeah. What do you guys think? Uh, with me. I mean, I, I know you guys like gone ho and all, but <laughs> if you were to make a choice, would you go left, right, or right up the middle? I mean, this is a military thing, so they kind of put everything kind of like straight on. They don't really do much like urging. Alright, straight on it is. Okay, so again, the doors are power, so you spend a few minutes jimmying the door open. Well. You see a couple of bunk beds and a locker. One of the doors flies open the locker. Again, bits of random debris um, floats around you. Is there anything of interest so far? Uh, potentially in that layer locker? Um, uh, couple of food. couple of magazines of questionable morality. Um, I'm gonna question morality. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if you might have been able to see them by the time I got them, but you know. <laughs> Best. I suppose I, I had my question on morality back there, so I reckon I'm then fine. You, you, you. I tell you what, I'm, I'm gonna leave you and uh, just gonna close the door for the moment. I'm just gonna calm down. He did. Just here, here. Don't, don't go in there for a second or two. I, I think you need something. <laughs> um, it's more like for... I just kind of like a bit freaked out, and I'm just like. In, in the meantime, why don't we check out this room? There we go. Alright. <laughs> I dread to think what's in the, in your room right now. <laughs> there. Oh. Well, this looks mighty the same. I reckon we're in some form of barracks here. Seems like it. Once again, nothing special in these ear lockers? Nothing particularly, no. Um, Rick, do you want to open up your door? Yes, I do! Door number <laughs> What's behind door number three? I swear to God, if an alien pops out... It's a suicide bomber. bomber. <laughs> More concerned about being a suicide... No, I am in a freaking set of all. <laughs> Nothing. Rummages through the lockers. <laughs> <laughs> No more magazines. No, you find one on the interior decorating for some reason. You're not quite sure why. Interesting. I frisbee it out the door so it just goes. <laughs> it just like float, it floats <laughs> lazily through the air. I sort of grabbed that and said, "Who cares?" <laughs> what about maybe we should get repaint the inside of the uh, the ship? Make a nice magnolia. That could be quite nice. Common, like common, you see. We should get a throw rug. <laughs> Going on here. You do know that a throw rug in some, but you actually throw. It's not like a weapon, right? You do know that. Yeah, where do I want a throw rug. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll, we'll get you a throw rug. We'll get you a throw rug. Uh, I'm sure it'll look very nice uh, in your room. <sighs> there is nothing more of interest on this deck. Right. Go up to the next one. I uh -huh. think that's the only logical option. Let's go up. <laughs> right. So, again, it's a, it's a very no. similar deck to the one below. You have two doors closed in front of you and to, the, to your left, but the door to your right is open. Now, I can't help but notice something in there. <laughs> Same here. All right. I'm going to stand here and start taking another quick look around. Shot the dead bodies. Do I see anything else in this room as I poke my head in? Um, no, but you do see two bodies floating um, in, the, in the gravity, and their faceplates are intact. However, their bodies are riddled with gunshots, and you see specks of blood floating around them. All right, Brick. Um, I'm, I'm certainly saying here that you are right. <laughs> this certainly seems like a trap. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I agree with you right from the start. One of them is holding a hand terminal, which um, the screen on it is glowing. Um, if you wish to look at it to see what it says, I will allow the more intelligent members of the group to no, 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 no. rummage through the. <laughs> okay. So, what do I have to roll? 
Oh no, it's it's on the screen. You don't need to roll anything. It's just tell me that you, you just tell me that you're looking at it. It's on the screen. I'll show it to you. Hello to everyone. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Pistols and automatic rifles. And grenades. Media arms. Sorry about that. <laughs> Those are the arms what I we saw on the way in. Oh, uh, yeah. Alright. Mind you, I'll say this much those uh, security drones don't sound good to me. Yeah. If there's been a uh, malfunction with them, that might just explain a few things. Right. I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you're Sorry around as well, head. but at the same time. Right. The dis um, the signal is still coming from above you. Alright. Shall we check these other rooms? The saying immediately go and open up this door. I go and open up this door. <laughs> Empty. Same as what you saw in the other rooms, things floating about. <laughs> Not even properly looking around the rooms, literally just going to the lockers. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, I've really got to say, I, I worry about you there. <laughs> you see a poster for a popular actress um, take behind one of the lockers? Uh, <laughs> not really my type. Right. Takes it off, rolls it up. <laughs> I don't know about much else, but what I'd suggest is that um, weapons hot people. I've been looking around my gun the entire time. <laughs> well, I've been trying to make you look a little bit more diplomatic, but nonetheless. Diplomacy gets you killed. <laughs> well, there's a truth to that in all, to be honest. Yeah. Right. Going up again? Onwards and upwards. Up till the up. Deck three, yet more crew quarters. Eddie's changing and the signal. Is there something. The signal the is stronger there. on this level. Right. So it's nearby. I have a feeling there's something here. That might be because I can see it at the top of the screen. Yeah, that's my fault. That should have. <laughs> <laughs> this is me experimenting with um, lighting stuff, so you see, you see right. nothing. You see nothing. For the time I being, then, I think yeah. we should check the sides here. <laughs> uh, check this doorway very carefully. I'm going to open up this door. Okay, dynamic lighting. Let's let's miss the obvious yeah. mistake by the GM and play play it out a bit longer. Well, it's more for the sake that if they've got something hiding in these, we want to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me go to the lockers. I'm gonna go into this locker over here, I'm trying to stop oh, Ricky. I'm checking under the beds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm checking under the beds. You don't really find anything here. Um, you find Rick, you find a used prophylactic. <laughs> Really? You find things you would normally find in um, these in <laughs> army bedrooms. Oh, I like the fact you did not say no. Oh, no. oh. maybe. Nope. Okay. Right, you are. Okay. Yep. Okay. okay uh, would you like I to bring it into this delay garage? Just a bit. I'll just <laughs> yeah. come over here for a second here. I'm gonna go into this room. <laughs> <laughs> There ain't nothing in there. I took it all. Oh, well, there's nothing in there. We already took it all. <laughs> you said I came in here for the stuff. I came in here for something else. As I closed the door. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now we got a full team. I'm gonna go over to this door and not I'm, expect there to be I'm, anything behind. I'm, it, I'm taking the pillow from this bed. <laughs> <laughs> we can take all the company and stuff later. Let's solve the problem first. Make sure we're not going to be shot to death, all right? Okay, so what you And we can loot the place to all high hell. In the meantime, I'm going to go up to this door and realize that does it seem like the signal's coming from behind this door? The signal I'm sure is. It does. The signal is strongest behind this door. Excuse me. We have come here to try to Hang help on, just, Discord send is, out a signal. Discord is doing a thing again, I'm afraid. It's pretty bad right now. This board is literally dying on mine. Hang on. Marco. Oh, no. Marco. 
Marco, oh no. Right. Can you... Who can hear who? Let's start with that. Hello? Marco Polo. Hello? Hello. I hear everyone. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear, yeah. I can hear everyone, I think. Benny is the one who's a bit robotic at the moment for me. You know, there's, a bit, there's a little bit of roboticism in Ben. Marco. All right. Polo. How's that? That's, That's better. better. Yeah. <laughs> I hear a nice American accent. Much um, better. That's great. good to hear. Okay, so you are in front of this door, which is which has not opened, and you have the signal in front of you. What did you wish to do? Before we open it, we we reckon that the signal's here. Uh, door, we're here to. We're here to offer some assistance. We understand that a signal has been sent out. It seems to be coming from this here room. We're going to open the door now, but we don't want to be shot or nothing. Yeah, I'm I just, like, go through and just open the door. I got back to wall, so... Door opens, and inside you see a very scared-looking woman, and she is holding a gun at you, but... Right, right. i tell you what. i tell you what. I reckon that it's going to make you feel more comfortable. Just keep pointing it at me. I'm the one who's in charge here. I'm going to put my gun away. Let's talk. We got uh, your signal saying that you're in trouble. Who are you, people? Yes, to... sir. Who are you, people? Oh, my name is uh, Bert Vile. This here is Kira Hawk, and that's uh, Rick F. Uh, comes out, is only holding gun, doesn't care. <laughs> we're delivering some cargoes, so um, we came kind of like picked up your signal. Um, we're literally just a, a, a group of going around and trying to help out the general cause of things. We we're currently on a cargo run when we picked up your signal for distress. What the hell are you talking about? I'm, go I'm trying to get paid here. <laughs> yeah, same here. I get that you're trying to get paid. At the same time, we're trying to do a decent thing as well, aren't we? <clears throat> I suppose I should be glad to see you. Um, we, well, there's no easy way, to, there's no nice way to say this. We, we run a smuggling, rack, we're smugglers. We've been told that we've been paid to smuggle cargo, from Martian cargo, military cargo to Tycho Station. And I don't know what happened. I, everything was going well. Then I just heard gunshots ringing out all over the ship. And then the air started to um, evacuate. So I just locked myself in here. I found a weapon. I found a back suits I it's like the signal I've been here ever since right. and from the looks of it um, you know that um, back suits contain about two days worth of air and it's looks like it's been very low on her so she's running out of time well I see but you got a bit of an issue there maybe we should just escort her to the ship and just you know well, we can. you want to leave of... her on our ship well, we've deactivated it, so nothing's going to be able to happen while she's Doesn't there. Doesn't mean she can't steal all that shit. <laughs> all right, well, we can chain her up, but at least she'll have there's, air. There's no, there's no power here, but if we can get down to the engineering deck, we can turn on the power there and maybe maybe get the ship moving from the flight deck. Right. Doesn't sound like a bad idea, I must admit. Well, for the sake of you going very low on the air, if we uh, don't is there any way that we can, can reach out your point? Uh, I guess there's other people in back suits around here. I guess they don't need their air anymore. Wonderful. We came across two downstairs. Yep. They really don't need that air. And she looks past um she looks past her shoulder, Bert, and she lets out a scream. Duck and cover people. <laughs> Die. I can't oh, jump to the side there. What the fuck is that? I have a feeling that's one of those there drones. <laughs> Can you please roll me initiatives? No. But, you know, we, we kind of don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I'm paying my nails right now. I'm assuming uh, no modifiers. Modifier 100? Uh, uh, I, I rolled it, but I don't know. I don't uh, think go uh, on. Let me, let me just paint my nails and I'll just be there right now. I don't know whether that did that. Yes, it did. There we go. Okay, one more I got a seven. I got two stun points. Can I use them? Uh, not <laughs> for initiative. <laughs> Bert's got. And there we go. Oh shoot. Eleven. Um. Uh, initiative. Here we go. Blank. No modifiers, of course. 
11. Here we also what got else? 11 and droney droney drone here. Got one. Yes. So drone is my uh, Yeah, I agree to the people that's in the... Yeah, I'm here. I'm yeah, I agree with the screaming people. <laughs> yeah, Spend your stun points and paint your nails back. before your turn. I okay, from the top then. Um, combat drone is going first. It looks around and you see, um, you see the lights on it starting to... Go, they're green at the moment, but then as he looks around, it turns red. It's going to skitter to the side and it's going to shoot at Brikev with um, its built in guns. So, this is an accuracy gunnery attack. Oh, dear God. Does a 16 hit your defense? I can't remember. <laughs> My defense, 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 defense. Yes, yes, it does. Okay, so he's going to take. So, that will do you damage that. Um, that is eight damage, uh, which is reduced by armor and toughness. Yep. So minus five, so it's three. Nice. So to stay with the whole fortune thing, you emit just rattles on the wall very near you, but just misses you. So minus three. Yep. Um, it has stump points though, so it's going to use those stump points oh, for a, um, for a, I'm going to say for a lightning attack, and it's going to attack again. It's going to attack. You can just about see K behind you, so it's going to attack K Tolan behind you. Sixteen, which just hits her, which hits her defense. Can it roll anything other than a sixteen? <laughs> It didn't roll any stunt points, so be grateful for that. Um, it's just, it's every single roll it's done so far. <laughs> <laughs> there are other numbers, drone. That's one might say. Seven. So that reduces by seven. That's going to be by six, so that's nine. K is just going to fire in a blind panic. Should really have a shoot. Of course. So she is going to shoot back. Fourteen, which hits it. It just hits it. So she's going to do damage with that. Or attempt to do damage with that. Ten damage. So the bullets rip into the um, drone. And the drone has to take a condition, an injured condition. So, uh, 20, why do you not do it? So I'm going to put one of those on it. And need to roll a, to roll a d6 to see how much it reduces the damage by. Still damage left over, so takes another condition. Roll another d6. One. This, <laughs> this is actually a really good shot from her. Um, is now wounded, so okay. And that was like got the last one. So that four damage actually really did it, a lot of damage to it because it decided not to roll anything decent for absorbing damage. Hmm. Kira. Yes. It is your turn. Yeah. Get out of here like that. Uh, do some shooting. Shooty shooty. Uh, bang bang. I forgot where where everything is now. Okay. It'll be accuracy or pistols if you have it. Accuracy. No modifiers. Oh, no, I, I had a pistol. Oh, yeah. there it is. Axe. Yeah. Uh, how do I press button? Just press accuracy and it'll give you a box saying. Thing of me. Okay, there we go. I pressed it. No, no matter the fire. It doesn't seem to. What the fuck did I? Oh. There we go. There should be a little no box modifiers. behind. No modifiers. 21. Hmm. That definitely hits, and if you wish no, to. No, it doesn't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so we'll deal with the damage first, but then you can use it. You can spend those stunt points to get stunts if it's still alive afterwards. So roll me damage. Roll me damage first. Seven. That reduces down to one. Um, so it's going to have to take another condition on that. It is now heavily wounded. You can see sparks flying out of it. It is in very bad shape. It's hmm. probably regretting its life choices in coming down here. Um, do you want to spe spend any of those stunt points to do stunts? I think I might. Um, i got to go find that bloody thing, haven't I? I really should get these fucking PDFs downloaded. Yeah, same here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where is... They've been okay. pinned. They've been pinned on the uh, on the on the Discord thing. Play cards. That's what we want. <laughs> so stunt points. La la la. Yeah, take your time, please. PDF. That'd be great right now. All right. General combat grappling. So the pistol ones, gun stunts. There we go. I don't think your weapon is automatic, so you can't use automatic stunts. I can't do gun stunts, no. You can do gun stunts, just not the automatic ones. Any that say that they're automatic. Yeah, that would say. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So basically, it's either two, isn't it? So. I've got a pistol whip here. Uh, let's see, if the attack hits an opponent adjacent to you, or next time you miss the firearm against an opponent adjust adjacent to you and run out of ammo, make a second attack against the same target, and <coughs> the accuracy pistol to club them with a the gun, inflict in 1d6 plus strength damage. It's not next to you, but um, you can use um, general combat stunts as well, if you wish to. General combat stunts. The ones are right at the top. <coughs> From the looks of it, it's looking very, very, it's like almost in bits. So if you wanted to lethal blow it or vicious blow it, that might be enough to take it out. Yeah, yeah I do. I just haven't, that's what I'm trying to figure out what I can use. I've got lethal blow, but that's five though, isn't it? Five stunt. You've got six stunt points. Oh, so basically I could probably do a lethal blow. You can blow completely fuck it. this thing up. Lethal blow, yeah, pretty much. extra 2d6 damage on the attack. Maybe we could try that one. Lethal yep. blow. I've got a lethal blow then. How do I do it? Just roll 2d6. Ah, bollocks. Ah, bollocks. i got so much thing on my desk oh, right no. now. Nine? That is enough to um, take it out, so it just um, explodes into a pile of circuitry which starts to float around it. Yeet! Right. Can you tell me something here? I mean, obviously, I, I, I'm no expert to your illegal activities that you've been doing, but by chance, was that a part of your cargo which got activated and started killing your crew? I think it must have been. They did say that we'd taken on security drones in one of the crates. Right. Snazzy! <laughs> How many security drones have you got? We've read a manifesto saying that there's three. But have, how many did you get? We have no because drones. This is an own. illegal activity. I want to know. <laughs> as far as I know, I, it was just the one crate of drones. How right. big a crate are we talking? We're we talking massive fucking crate, or we're we talking tiny little crate? Enough to contain three security drones that it says on the map. Enough to contain three security drones, okay. <laughs> Alright, so we know that there's going to be at least another two of those things out there. We don't know whether they're active, but they're out there. Uh, Where were they stored? They were stored in the cargo deck in deck on deck seven. Can't we just leave? Just take her and just leave, and then just destroy the ship and get, give up all the scrap. Well, that's the other side uh, of things. We'll yeah. be giving up everything. The question is, is it worth it? The other side. Were there anyone, as far as you know, is there anyone else who might be alive? It's just me. Because if anybody else was here, they would have come to get me a while ago. It's me here alive. Right. 
if you can get this ship, if you can get us, get me, help me get get the ship back to Tycho. Ship is yours, I guess. No Fuck else? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Compatriots here. Uh, for the sake that we're in uh, zero G, we could potentially just tow this ship in, couldn't we? And the well, we so, presuming we can get ourselves back to the ship without too much of an issue, yeah. we could, in theory, drag this ship all the way there without having to worry about those security drones, which will tie up nicely into this ship. But then whoever we sell this ship to will then have to deal with the drones. Well, yeah, but then again, that's just going to have to be their danger. Better than it being our danger. Either that or we can deal with them a bit later on. Perhaps we can get back and get ourselves some better gear to go against these damn drones. Or we could come across someone who might be able to disable them from a distance. I mean, I, don't, I mean, I would presume they have some sort of remote. Uh, there's always a chance that maybe an EMP or something like that would be able to disable them. But ideally, I don't want to really be doing something like that whilst our ship is right next door. Mm. I think our best option is if we get back to our ship and tow this thing. Uh. For the sake of it, GM, would we actually be able to tow this? Um, Probably not. It is bigger than your ship. We are in the middle of space, which has no gravity. No. Therefore, no but weight. Mass, mass is still a thing, though. Well, yeah, but what I mean is we could That's drag it in close to That's an it. atmosphere and such. Probably forth. our engine wouldn't even be able to make this thing move at a decent clip. God damn it. Uh, it'd probably, it, I'm assuming it would probably just add, like, weeks to our journey. Kay, Kay does interject at this point and say, listen, what are you going to do? Do it fast. The leader it's of our true. group, the leader of our group is, he's not known for, um, Taking prisoners. If he comes and if he um, tries, if he investigates why the ship has gone quiet, and he finds he finds your ship next to it, he wouldn't even ask. He might not even ask any questions. All right. So basically, you're telling us our best option currently is just to leave you alone. I think our best option. That's currently, basically what you're saying. Here, I think is our that best option. If trying to save you, there's a very good chance the old guy might turn up and try and kill us anyway. Judging by what she's saying, she's probably saying that he's going to turn up, kill her, and take the ship. But this ship... Sounds about right. No, no, no. She's, if... She said there, but he's going to kill us because our ship's attached. Oh, yeah. She he'll might kill... be yeah, dying as well, but the fact of the matter is our best option he'll is to kill... leave. He'll kill us, come in, kill her, and take the ship. Yeah. <laughs> but if... Exactly. So our best option is just to leave her alone and fuck her off. If, if you... If you can get this, if we can get the power back on this ship, the ship is armed, very well armed. Be more than a match for him. Right. So you're telling me now that he is absolutely coming, and that he's going to kill us all. Once he sees this ship is um, down, he's not going to care about the cargo. He's just going to make sure it doesn't fall into anybody else's hands. Okay. So right. we... Okay. So what floor do we need to get to? The... Yeah, where do we have to go to get the generator on? Power, the power will be back on. Will be on the engineering deck on deck eight. From there, once that's up, okay. we, we can um, go up to the flight deck and we can try and get the ship moving. Right. Okay. She's already what? left. She's already gone into the thing. What level are we even on? You're on deck three at the moment. Deck three? Oh fucking hell! <laughs> All the way down, I'm guessing it's all the way down, not all the way up, right? It is all the way. It is all the way down. Right. I would like to turn off my magnetic boots if that's possible. Okay. Can you make me? If anybody wishes to turn off the magnetic boots, can you make me dexterity freefall? I will be boots? immediately holding on to the ledge before I do that. Dexterity freefall, you say? I do. Yes. And before that, yeah, I'm doing um, it. While I remember. Can you roll me, well, we've had a breather, you can roll me a d6, add your constitution modifier and your level and you get that much fortune back, which only affects Bert, I think, which only affects Brick, I think. So, what, a d6 plus my constitution modifier? 
Pretty much, yes. Which is going to be a... I think it's going to be a three anyway, so that just gives you your fortune back, really. D, six, plus three. All right, yeah. I don't need to worry Five. about that. <laughs> yeah, that's not a problem. So that is... Plus three. Uh, back to four. Yeah. <laughs> right. And now back to free fall. So... Yeah, I'm free falling. So what are we... What I was going to suggest we were going to do was that effectively hold on to the ledge right in front of us, turn up our boots, and basically force ourselves right down the hole. There's no gravity at the moment, so we should be able to just glide right through. But I would suggest holding on first, otherwise you're just going to float off and have no power. Here's what you've gone. Bye, guys. <laughs> How did you fall down? There's no gravity. Yeah, but she's sort of going down. Anyway. Just like propel oh, yourself, like... propel yourself downwards. Free fall. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> they've all, they've both gone. <laughs> I free fall. How does that work? There is no gravity. There is no such thing as free fall. But you can push yourself. You push yourself off. Well, that's what I mean. I thought that's what we were doing. <laughs> yeah, free fall is maneuvering and moving while in free fall, usually in. Man, man. <laughs> how, did, how did you get the uh, the free fall option? Because I have. <laughs> I have oh. that too. I just said dexterity, so I'll just do I think that. It's a, I think it's, it's a belt to think. It's a belt to think. <laughs> of course it is. I got free full pilot. And yet I do it better. <laughs> right. Uh, with that, I shall move you all. You're going all the way down to the engineering deck. Yep. There we are. There, turn back on those boots. Mm -hmm. Right. So the engineering deck, it's as you can see, it's pitch black. There are consoles around, um, very faint glow. If you can look at um, one of them, the one to the left here looks like it has something written on the screen. Yoink! I go over there. Small depends. People go over there and talk to me. <laughs> I'm gonna head over there and take a look at that. I have a feeling my information technology know-how is gonna do me some favors. Sure. So, what do we have here then? Okay, the readout. It's a list of the ship's systems. Um, main drive. All, next to all of them. Fucked. Yes. Fucked. <laughs> Fucked. 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 Main, <laughs> main drive. Offline. Main power. Offline. Thrusters. Offline. PDCs. Offline. Torpedo launcher. Offline. Coffee machine. Offline. Coffee machine. Offline. Dear God, no. <laughs> no, we can't. Right. Hot pocket toaster offline. No. What a fake it is. Uh, as I click clack away, is there anything which I can do to start turning any of this stuff back on? Um, the best bet for doing that would be the console in front of the main reactor. This one. Well, I'm guessing I would have known that, not just randomly. Run over and click clack it again. Yeah. Right. Um, intelligence. Hold on to your bellies. <laughs> Let's do this, man. Right, do I need to do nothing? Um, one moment. I have... Okay, yeah, intelligence technology. Um, test, please. Right, oh. No modifiers, I'm presuming. No modifiers. God no darn. 19. Okay, so um, Bob's it takes you ta it takes you ten around. minutes. It takes you ten minutes, and you can see that the engine is the reactor is starting to come back online. Um, but it might need a bit more, t just a bit more tinkering with that. Can you um, make me another check, please? I don't. Hold on to your bottoms. Boom. Ten. This is a bit more complicated than I was It's a bit more complicated than you thought. Yes, another 10 minutes goes by, and um, you're still tinkering with it. Um, Brookhev, no can you make me a perception check, please? Oh, no. Perception check? No. <laughs> I've bought the position my jelly, baby. <laughs> can I have one more test from you? Can I have another test from you, please, Bert? Righto. 12 for stun points. <laughs> 12 for technology points. So our Bert's still... So our Bert's still... Working on that. Working on that. You guys are gonna have to protect me for the time being. 
Rickev, you feel you kind of feel it more than you hit, more than you hear it or see it. But um, the force, yeah, it is strong within you. You want to if you if you turn you turn around and yeah. Well then, we got company. <laughs> well, you're gonna have to keep him occupied. Oh. I'm a bit busy over here. I can't exactly drop this. So um, I'm gonna position K here. Um, yeah, it's gonna be another initiative. Get from each of you, please. Oh boy. Roll for initiative, initiative, initiative. Rolling for an initiative. <laughs> Uh, I got myself down right. there. Who the fuck am I? 12. 12. <laughs> Kira is 13. Um, Bert is tw also 12. Rickov is 12. Good. These people. Thirteen and K, whose seat I seem to be permanently closing. Dark Pikachu. I can feel it in my jellies. I can feel I, it in I my fingers. Yes, I've watched a... that movie. It was so cute. Thirteen. I can feel it up my nose. So Christmas is all around us. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, um, the combat drone goes first, and this time it is going to stroll up. To, it's going to skitter its way up to Brickev. Fuck you. And um, it is going to, if I can line him up, it is going to lash out at you <laughs> with an electrical, with um, with a with a baton that's crackling with electricity. So this is a light weapons check. Bring it on, bitch! Does a 16 hit your defense? It does. Okay. Once again, can it roll anything other than a 16? It rolled a 13, 14 a moment ago. That's yes, for its initiative, but every attack has been a 16. That's 7. 7 minus 5, 2? Yes. Yep. So, eh, eh. Minus 2. And no stun points this time, so that's the end of its turn. Kay is again going to run up, and because her shooting was so effective last time, she's going to try and do the same thing again. But misses completely this time. It just flies over the machine's head. That eight is not going to hit it. Well, shit balls. Kira. Uh, I'm going to get over here. You can do this, sweetie. Thank you very much. I'm going to use my pistol again. For God's sake, don't make me thrive in my vacuum suit. Snuggles. <laughs> Nineteen. That hits, and you get stunt points with it. I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. Wait, uh, hang on, how many do I have? Just three? Just, just three, three this time, yeah. Just three this time. Three. Let's see what I, have. I can do for three. You uh, could do a vicious blow. I could do a vicious blow, yeah. That's an extra D6. Okay, so um, roll me some damage and then roll another D6 on top of it. Okay, roll damage. No modifier. 11. And another D6. 1d6. Another d6. Another d6. That's 15. That's just reduced down to 9. So, first off, it gets itself a wounded condition 1. 6. Goes down to 4. Takes another wounded condition. I get mixed up between injured and wounded. So sorry. Nope, that's enough. So it's definitely sparking. You definitely hit it. It looks like it's um, moving a lot more slowly than it was previously. Excellent. Rick Ev. Right. To shoot it, do I have to back away from it? No, you can shoot it from where you are. I can shoot it point blank. You can just, oh, like, boy. Insert your gun into its face and shoot it, yes. Ooh. Then submit. 14. That just hits it, I believe. That does indeed hit it, yes. Woo! Then I'm going to fucking shoot the shit out of it. <laughs> uh, submit. That's 12 damage. Six damage, so it takes first wound position. Roll six. 
And you know what? That is enough to just blow it up because it's not going to be able to absorb that much damage. So again, it's reduced to a smoking just, pile. As just it puts it between its two little beady eye sensors and just... <laughs> and it just like oh. blasts out the back. Meanwhile... Oh. <laughs> right. Back to technology. Yeah, one more technology nice. roll should be enough, Bert. Fifteen. One more left! <laughs> That's it. That is enough to start the power and... The lights come on around you, as they will do when I do, which hopefully works when I do this. I do have one other question. By chance, were those uh, those military droids, they've been activated somehow. Have they been activated through the system? Would I be able to tell? Um, roll me an intelligence check. Don't mind me a moment. Intelligence check, straight up. Here it yes. comes. Fourteen. So you recognize these? These are military drones. They're security drones. They're more like used for base security more than anything else. Their job is to um, to press against intruders. They believe they were on a Martian ship, and they just wanted to make sure it didn't fall into the wrong hands. They didn't recognize anybody on it. Nothing really. Nothing. Nothing that um, activated them as such. No. Command that activates them as such, they just, they they just can, carried out their program. Are they a part of this ship? You don't believe so. Because it seems to have an idea that they're a part of this here ship. Are they are they part of the crew, part of the ship? <laughs> okay, then I get Well basically when it comes down to it, we've got one more of these things still roaming around. Is there any way that I might be able to try and hack into it as such? Um I'm gonna let you try. Yes, even though they're not strictly part of this ship, you could should still be able to, might still be able to hack into it because it still needs to receive and communicate. So you should still be able to hack into it. Yes. Right. I'd like to give that a try. Do we okay. need to find it, or can you do it from here? Um, if you do it from here, you can send. You can see that there's a, a signal, a, a electrical signal coming from the flight deck. Right. Right. So. In order to do that, do I need to go up to the flight deck to see it, or do I can I do it from this console here? Um, I'm gonna let you do it from here, actually. That you are. Technology roll. Technology roll. All right, guys. Everyone, cross your fingers and hope for luck. Technology. That's a fourteen with three stunt points. <laughs> Technology. I'm gonna say that's enough. Yes. Um. <laughs> You 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 um, find you look you hack into the drone systems and you look around and you just find the off switch so you just press it and the drone um, the drone reports that it's shut down. Dang, I was so tempted to say you know you have no access to your weapons. You're as nice as a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> so the ship is back online. Um, the drones are all dealt with. It is at this point that, um, as the ship is back online, you sit, you hear a voice coming over the ship's radio. Uh oh. This is the this is the Sabel Picus report in. If you do not respond, we will be forced to attack. I'm presuming he's talking to you. I. Is he talking to you? Or is he talking to whoever was in charge of this thing? I'm presuming he's talking to anyone who was on board oh, this ship. I'm presuming anyone. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Rick. <laughs> Let, let's ask the lady. Is that your boss? K has the just gone. Coming K has just gone. All? Has gone very, very white. That's him. Right. We need to. We need to. We need to do something. Voice comes on. Hi, right, this is your final warning. He well, to prepare to be boarded, or we will be forced to blow you out of the stars. All right. Can I open up so that they can board, or can I open communications from here? Um. I would also like to point out a further option. Your ship's weapons are now online. This ship's weapons are now online. Yep. Ooh. Right, so. And. Is it important you knowing this guy? Or do you want to take him out and maybe have control of your own? He's a nut. He's, uh, he's an evil son of a. He, he, right, we're killing him. him. Got ya. Okay, right. As you're making your way back up to the bridge, um, you hear the alarms going off. Um, torpedo. You have an incoming torpedo. Oh, bully. Is there anything we can do about that? Yes, you're too far. It, 
um, it's coming in too fast to you to dodge. When you, if you can activate the PDCs, you might be able to shoot torpedo down. I do have a crack. Or defense cannons. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> put you to here. Actually, you don't get to see. I'm gonna show you. The, I'm gonna show you the bridge thing because I did spend a lot of time doing. So yeah. <laughs> Look at the bridge. Look at it. <laughs> Look at this dead guy. Yeah. Everyone, <laughs> quick, to your stations. <laughs> Any station doesn't matter. Kiri, I mean, people at keyboard. Kiri, Kiri can go up the t um, the flight. The flight controls are up here, so you can go up there. Hey, can you? Just stood uh, by. Uh, <laughs> you can do this, honey. You can do this, darling. Uh, you taught me, so I'm putting this on you. And that's it. You're a leaf on the wind. And because I want to have another go at a space battle, I'm going to put you to the space battle one. So you right. are over here on the right hand side. The Sibel is on the left hand side, and there's a torpedo right on top of you. Um, you press the button. You hammer the button to activate the point defense cannons. Can one of you, can one of you please make me a three um, d six roll and add two to it? I think that's your sense. I think that's your sensors. I surely should have looked this up. Oh right. Chip sensors are one. Who so three d six. Three d six plus one. Any takers? Is that all of us? Just one of you. Just one. One person do it. Three d six plus one. Three d six. Plus one. one, yeah. Yeah. Fourteen. You taking the piss out of me, boy? <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. It's jelly babies. Um. <laughs> so the PDCs managed to shoot the torpedo. The torpedo explodes, but it does. It uh, some of it does impact this uh, the steel aurora, and the steel aurora shears away and starts no! starts sparking. I'm afraid. <laughs> okay, you better not have lost us our ship. I swear to be. <laughs> On the plus side, you are now free. So we are now at space combat. So first step of space combat is the command step. So, Captain, what are your orders? What orders can I take, bud? <laughs> you can um, choose to move in closer. You can choose to fire weapons. You can choose to move in closer and fire weapons. Right, for the sake of things, uh, we don't know the, this ship. What's its weaponry like? K will tell you that it's similar to yours. It has a point defense cannons and a torpedo launcher, as you've just experienced. Right, you are. Well, in which case, I think we might best keep in distance. What do you think, guys? I think so, too. Right, oh. let's just fire a weapon right from where we are, man. Okay, Trying in to that case. Thing out of the sky. In that case, um, Captain. Um, Bert, can you please make me a leadership test? Man. Leadership test, absolutely. Test for leadership. 14, with four stunt points. Cool, that means you get to spend five stunt points this round. Um, in, your stump, in your stunts, there are space combat stunts. So I see. And you can use them at any point during this round. Right, so I, I get how many was that? Five, was it? Or five stunts. Five. 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 Right. Sweet. You don't have to spend them now, you can spend them later on in the round if you wish. That's yeah, alright, I'm taking a look at what they are at the moment. Okay. Uh, let's see. That's one blinding maneuver. Oh, blinding that maneuver one. <laughs> Moving on to the um, maneuver round. Um, so you're trying to keep your distance, but the ship, the, the Sibel, is going to try and close the distance. So, Kira, can you make me a dexterity piloting check, please? Okay. Any, any modifiers? Uh, no modifiers. No. No modifier. 17. And this no. is a... <laughs> plus... Ah, that's not a problem. You managed to keep your distance. It tries to close the distance, but you managed to back up a bit more. Um, put K on the ECM round. So ECM. Um, this is not... Effectively, fighter ship must be able to detect its opponents. So, um, K is going to try and scatter some chaff and radio chatter. So, for K, this is a intelligence technology test. Martin Madrazo, cheesy bastards. <laughs> Doesn't have technology. This is going to be interesting. Plus sensors, so that's 
plus one. Eleven. Eleven. He makes it so. When do you make? When you make your ECM, you alright over there? No, my phone's being stupid. So you have. Sensor. Uh, you have a plus one to spend on defensive tests. Right. How's your stunts coming, Rick? How's your stunts coming, Bird? Well, taking a good look on this side of things, if we get around to actually trying to make a shot here, I think we've got a chance. That's the next step. So, at this range, the only weapons you can use are torpedoes. Right, you are. And if we manage to get it through, I'd like to use a perceived weakness. Okay, torpedoes will take a while to get there. They'll take another couple of rounds to get there. But may I... Um, but I'd in. also like to do a uh, blinding maneuver to try and uh, blind or limit the opponent's sensors for the sake of using two on that. That's not a bad idea. Is that going to be effective this round? Uh, may I point your attention, this is a suggestion, to the setup stunt? Right. Maneuver an opposing ship into a hazard. Such as uh, oh, a flowing bed of rock. Uh, uh. Alright, we'll have a crack at that instead then. Is that, I'm saying that because that would do damage, damage this round, whereas torpedoes will take another two rounds to get to each other. That's true. Um, we'll do that one. We'll do the setup. But we'll also throw in the uh, blinding maneuver as well. Okay, so that's four for the setup and one for the blinding maneuver. That's right. Um, mm -hmm. uh, the setup can be evaded, so TM plus your intelligence, plus leadership focus. Uh, what's your intelligence? Bert? Uh, my intelligence is plus two at this point. And your leadership is plus two, so that's four plus half the stunt points spent. Six. Okay, so Bert, you see a, um, you see a, a, loose, a loose asteroid flying around and you motion Kira and Kira manages to attempt to herd to um, get herself in between the get herself get the asteroid in between her and the ship and the ship is going to try and smash, and she's going to try and force the ship to smash into it beautiful okay so evasion nothing to evade for you guys because the torpedo is still miles away the other people however as he quickly looking at the test, even I've done this many times. Um, 3d6 plus 2. Okay. So it's slash roll. 3d6 plus 2, and they're trying to beat a 16. That would help if I did it the right way around. Yeah, it would help. <laughs> they fail, they crash right into that loose asteroid. <laughs> and the failure on the evasion test. Um, Causes half the SP stunt round down. So, Bert, can you want me 2d6, please? Yeah, sure thing I can. Two. Do, do, do. Ten. Ten. Right. Whole score for the ship over here is seven. So, three points got through. It needs to take two losses. I'm going to say. Weapons and maneuverability. So, it's. I'm going to say that um, that um, that crash into the asteroid knocked out its torpedo launcher, <laughs> and it also knocked out the thrusters, so it's got minus one from maneuverability now. In the That's pretty. Uh, and torpedo launcher gone bye bye. And that is the end of that round. The torpedoes are still screaming through space towards each other. Um, new round, Captain. What are your orders? <laughs> I'll probably make a suggestion that perhaps we should make a move to a new position and shoot. Perhaps getting in a dash closer this time. Very well. Make me another leadership roll. Right, the ship of leaders. We got 16. 
Okay, so you just get no the one stunt point. You get one stunt point automatically for passing that. That's yeah, nice. So, Kiri, you're going to try and close. Um, if you're sure you can one try and close. One point which I'll place on that straight away then is I'm going to also do that blinded maneuver again. Try okay. and make it a bit more difficult to see where we've gone. So they're at minus one sensors this time for this round. That's right. Cool. Um, Kira. <laughs> Piloting check. Um, try and close the distance a bit. My what? Uh, make me a piloting check, please. Okay. Check the piloting. Just like we practiced, all right? 18. I think that's going to win. 15. So you can move up to the next Woo range. Move up to the next range, which is now at medium range. Baby. Hey is going to try her ECM again. So that's going to be intelligence technology check. Come on, okay. distance, distance unhappy. Like, she doesn't make it. Um, weapon attacks. It ain't impressing me too much, I gotta say. Hmm. Weapon attacks, torpedoes are going to... Um, that one, your torpedo flies towards them, their torpedo. Now that you've moved closer to them, you've also reduced the distance to their torpedo. I was trying to get us out of moving closer, but also to the side, but never mind. No, it's good because at this range you can still try and dodge it. Even better. So, um, that would, yeah, that'll do for that. I'm going to say, can I have one torpedo at a time? So, evasion. Um, it's a piloting roll. Kira, please make me a piloting test. Another piloting one? Another no, no, piloting no, no, check, please. Relief on the wind. Let's watch your with... sword. Uh, Any modifiers? She didn't make it, so no modifiers. Eighteen again. <laughs> and another drop. And wow, you easily dodge this torpedo. It just like flies off into the distance. <laughs> you don't Straight get it. <laughs> full of orphans. <laughs> no. Um, they're gonna make their um if they. Actually, that was that long range when it started. They didn't even get to um, evade, so they're going to have to try and shoot it down with their PDCs. Scrap and die! Plus one, and it's versus eleven. They do manage to shoot it down, however, so that's... Damn it! Oh, no, wait, that was at long range. Oh, no. Uh... No, it's still they still shoot it. They still manage to shoot Damn it down. It! The <laughs> torpedo does explode on them. Let's reset these. <laughs> I think that's a new round. No, nobody suffered any damage this round, so new round. All right. Orders, Captain. That's a lot of damage. Well, we need to start taking some of proper action. Let's shoot that damn thing down. Shoot the shit out of them! If you move in to close range, you can attack it with your pit point defense cannons. Let's do it. Okay. Roll me a um, leadership test, please, again. Leadership. Here we go. That's a 12. So one stunt point again. Good to know. We'll also do the blinded maneuver again. I want to take that. Make it Minus. hard for them to see us. Minus one on sensors. Pilot. Do your thing, please. Okay. Pilot, do the piloting. I'm piloting. I can find where it was again. There it is. No modifiers again? No modifiers. No uh, modifiers. Come on. 13, 3, uh, uh, uh. 16. If you wish to, if you wish to really get this, you can um, initiate a high gravity maneuver and get bonuses between plus 1 and plus 6. If you really want to make that. Uh, I don't see why not. I really, oh, geez, sorry. Let's do this now. Okay. Do do? So you can decide what bonus you want between a plus one and a plus six. What do you think? Let's go big, I think. I mean, yeah. plus six is the best thing. <laughs> this, is, this is gravity, don't forget. The high gravity maneuver for a reason. Well. Well. We better brace our asses, Ben. I think we'll try. 
Defying gravity. Get out of here, you. So, what are you, so are you going for a plus six? Yeah. Yeah. Um, in that case, can you all make me constitution checks? <laughs> stamina if you have it. I don't have stamina. I, just I have don't have that stamina. Uh, constitution. What? I, I have stamina. I've got with six stunt points. <laughs> I'll just do constitution normally. Constitution stamina. Burton. 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 Right. Um... Okay, um, so you all pass the um, constitution check, Neat. but on, a, on passing, you each suffer 3d6 damage. 3d6 damage? 3d6 damage, so I'll roll that. So you, each, so you each suffer 12 damage. Dang it. What's my damage? Where is my damage? It's do I do? Uh, reduced by your toughness. Armor won't help you this one. So it's reduced by your toughness and then you take it off your fortune. So, uh, all right. That's 10 um, points for me. Same here. 10 points. Uh, so I'll eight just... for me? <laughs> yes, 8 for me. Yeah, so right. I was originally 23, but I'm now 13. Same here. Do we put it on fortune or max? Uh, fortune. Take off your fortune. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's what gravity does. Man, I'm I'm a of twenty-three. As you as you as you lean back in your seats, as you're pushed back into your seats by the sudden G-force, you feel tiny pinpricks in your back, and you feel a cocktail of drugs, morphine, things to keep things to keep you awake, caffeine maybe. It just comes into your back, and you 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 suddenly like feel feel so much more alert. Oh wow. This is known colloquially, colloquially as the juice, and it's what keeps people alive in high gravity. Uh, I, like this shit. I knew, I knew sticking a kind of monster in my spine was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> More or less, actually. But that does mean that you do beat the um, the other ship's maneuvers, and you are now at close range. The grudge. Um, let's see, electronic warfare. Um, Kay is still. Kay just about recovers from that and she's gonna do her check. So, yeah, gravity is a thing in this. Uh, oh, yeah, Kay. That's what I'm talking about. That's. Um, yes, I think that's a pass. That's um, yes. And she is going to, um, and with that, you get a plus three to defensive tests. Very nice. And the ship sees you coming. Um, would you like to? What would you like to do? Weapon attacks. What would you like to attack with? Well, what have we got close range. Point defense cannons at close range, and you can still use torpedoes. Uh, <laughs> a point blank torpedo. <laughs> let's go for the. Uh... The close range. We won't go for torpedoes. Okay, so you're firing your point defense cannons. One moment, please. They're firing their point defense cannons, and um, in that case, evasion time. Um, Kira, you can make me a piloting check, and you can add a plus three modifier to it if you wish. Whee! Plus three. Yeah. Do a barrel roll. Seventeen. That's you're uh, fine there. You you definitely dodge out of the way of their point defense attacks. They need to do the same for theirs. One because they're blinding maneuver. Seven. One moment, please. They die instantly. They, not quite. Well, I'm afraid. So. I want you to focus fire on that command deck. <laughs> so, um, they do against your sense of yeah, They just about they just mount dodge, dodge out of the way. So there's lots of um, bullet fire flying around, but nobody gets hit with that. God damn it, damn it. Captain! What are your orders? Right, but we need to make some space again, and then try and hit him with our big gun. Well, you can do it from right where you are. Nothing stopping you from just like pointing. Yeah, but would there be some backlash for the sake of doing that? 
Um, nothing listed. All right, in which case I suggest that we fire a nice big torpedo right down that fuck. Especially since they can't fire back at us. <laughs> okay, no piloting required this time because you're going to stay where you are. Do you need a uh, leadership test? I'll have a leadership test, please. Yes, thank you very much. There it goes. That's a 15. No stunt bonus. Get one stunt point. I'll get a point one. I am going to go for, instead, I'm going to go for guidance this time. Plus one, chosen, chosen ship combat test. Cool, that means that any test from now on can have one, a, plus one modif a plus one modifier. DCM test. 11, that's... And they need to make one as well. Two. Get the sensors back. So Kay has failed the ECM check. Um, you can give her the plus one to make to beat to win the ECM check if you wish, or do you want to hold on to it? We'll do it. We'll give her the plus one. In that case, you get a plus one bonus from the drop from the ECM check to um, attacks or defensive tests. Let's place it on the attacks this time. Okay. Let's try and take them down. That means that their evasion checks are plus one. Okay, would you like to send a torpedo down their throats? Sure. And you, can also, and you can also fire your PDCs at them, just like open up with everything you have. <laughs> I'll fire her! I don't like that thing again. They're gonna open fire with you at, with their PDCs as well, so... Oh, I'll cannons! I'll, st I'll start with you guys. Can you make me... Kira, can you make me your piloting check, please? Any... any modifiers? No modifiers. Come on, work! 11! Um... You do get hit by the PDC fire from that, I'm afraid, so... Oh no! That's... 2d6. That's 6 damage, that should be... And it, and your hull will absorb... It's not a problem, your hull just like, absorbs the, <laughs> absorbs the fire. You hear, you hear like, you hear like, shoot through again. some... I love this ship. <laughs> you, hear, you hear it shoot through some of the decks below, but it's like, you know, nothing, nothing serious is hit, it's just... It's just making holes and knocking things around, really. Nothing much. It probably hits one of the magazines, but that's about it. <laughs> There's a magazine now with a hot with a PDC round neatly through it. On your turn, we'll deal with the, we'll deal with the torpedo. We'll deal with the um, we'll deal with the PDCs first. So they're going to try and dodge the PDCs. Six plus two and. Um, do you want to add your plus one bonus to this attack or the torpedo attack? Uh, let's see. Let's add it on to the... Uh, let on to the torpedo attack. Okay, so PDCs go a bit wild. Torpedo attack time, so let's roll 3d6 plus 2. Versus the 12 this time. <laughs> they failed to dodge a torpedo, so now they're going to have to try and shoot it out of the sky, but because they've already opened up their, with you with their PDCs, it's that much more difficult. Two plus rating six. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. The, their, their PDCs fail to, hit, fail to hit the torpedo, and the torpedo smacks into them. Open <laughs> wide, motherfuckers! <laughs> That's it, I want them to have bay doors. For yeah, 17 man. points of damage. Of which... Please, like, critically fail this. Like, one point of damage is absorbed. <laughs> nine points... It, nine points of damage get through. The hull absorbs um, eight points of damage, so nine points of damage get through. So, that's two losses. Um, I'm gonna say you knock a hole through their reactor with that. <laughs> uh, they would need they would need to take two losses to absorb the damage and two losses more or less comes to a reactor offline. So yeah. Very nice. So yeah, you um you knock a hole through the torpedo hits impacts the bottom of their ship and there's just like a big explosion from the ship from the bottom of the ship and it just like um the bottom half of the ship disappears and the top half of the ship is just left drifting. Not responding. <sighs> Did that guy get me? Damn it. Wanna kick him while they're down? <laughs> <laughs> kick him while they're down. 
Yeah, to be honest, that's what I was thinking. I'm not going to make you roll for this one. So you just like, so you just send the ship forward, and it just, <laughs> just <laughs> every fucking. Thing. It just, it just, it just. The, those of you who watch the series, there's a nice scene where um, where the Rosinante is fighting another ship, and it just like flies. The other ship is immobilized, so it just like flies around the ship. And he just peppers it with MPDC rounds as it's flying around, and just like completely Swiss cheeses the other ship. I'm gonna say that's what I'm, I'm gonna say that's what you do. So you just completely turn that ship into Swiss cheese. Well, at least then we don't need to worry about no survivors. And boom. So, congratulations! You have defeated the other ship in combat. So this ship is yours, and you have the um, drifting wreck, drifting wreck of your. Of the Steel Aurora in the background. Well, I think if nothing else, we want to get back to our Aurora, get her hitched up again, make sure that she's in decent tech before we leave. Okay, it'll be easier for this ship to drag the Aurora than it is for the Aurora to drag this ship. Well, in which case, when we end up doing exactly like you said, we'll drag this one off to where. Where was it you said you were trying to head to again? Uh, we're trying to get to Tycho Station. Oh, that's convenient. We were going there. <laughs> that's pretty much oh, what we got. case. We'll do exactly that. We'll hit you up, and off we go. And on, along the way, she comes to me and she says, I want to get out of this life. I don't hey. want to see the ship again. If you want the ship, it's yours. Take it. Sweet! <laughs> All right. Now that's what I got about a free prize. Um, How about you? What are you going to be going off and doing? I'll find something. Maybe some honest work for a change. I've got a friend who lives in Ganymede Station. Maybe I might go and visit them and try and get some work there. That's not a bad plan to take on life. But I want you to do me a favor and I want you to remember us. If ever you need our help, yeah, as long as you've got a coin, of course, we'll be there to help. Thank you, I, I do appreciate that, thank you. There, yeah, we look out for our friends. And on the way back, um, the news feeds, if, you, if you're if listening to the news feeds at all, they, there seems yeah, to be we'll some be. there seems to be some stories about the Aero, the Eros crash on Venus. Um, scientists from the Protogen Research Company are declaring it to be the work of a hitherto unknown organism. They're calling it the protomolecule. Hmm. They don't know what it's capable of. It needs further study. Um, the pink, um, on Ganymede, there's a report about um, a local gang being taken down by Pinkwater security forces. <laughs> a what? A what? No, well, you remember what we ended up doing last time? Well, we kind yeah. of gave so them a nice little gang. hint to uh, where they might want to go. I uh, think yeah. I think we helped out there. Yeah. No mention of the OPA or yourselves. Um, they seem to be. You seem to be kept out of the story. That's good. Um, Fine by me. I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna put you onto. Actually, let's put you onto. Tiny new ship. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> it has a mustard stain on its side. That's because this 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 artwork is actually for a different ship. So I had to quickly get rid of this. Get rid of the name. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. With Let's go with the end. Of um, so yeah, um, you make it back to Tycho Station. Uh, can I say uh, I'm guessing we've got a few days before anything else happens? Is that right? You do. You've got about six days before anything before you. Is there any Tycho. chance that I could find that last droid, the one which I shut down? Yes, it is actually on the flight deck. You do find it um, collapsed in the corner of the flight deck. I would like to remove its guns and uh, try to hack into it, try and make it one of our allies. Interesting idea. Let's not do the other two. We killed well, them. We sort of destroyed them. I mean, if I learn how to make this one work, there's a chance I might be able to fix the others. I'm not sure. Interesting idea. Or you Let's could try with one first. Or you could strip the other two of the parts and make a really big one. I'm going to ask you. For... Let's keep things simple. <laughs> I'm going to ask you for an intelligence um, technology check. For a start off. That you are. And when I just roll 20 wants to play games with me again, there we go. <laughs> Here it comes. That's 17 with five stunt points. Okay, I can't think of anything for stunt points right now, but um, 
So you poke around it, you think you see how it works. Um, can you make me a dexterity check with an appropriate focus? You've got improvisation, so if you can convince me that focus is, is applicable, then you're trying to like, you know, rewire it together, but it's very intricate. Well, as I say, for the sake of things, uh, I certainly need a crafting focus with the whole. That, that'd, be, that'd be perfect <laughs> if you use that, yeah. <laughs> Exactly. So yeah, I'll be using the crafting side of things to try and make this just right. As I said, take take the guns off a bit, but make yourself that it can talk to us. Hitch a few wires here and there, so maybe perhaps more importantly, attached to its camera. So we've got two infiltration drones. Nice. Right. So should I hit the crafting or should I hit the dexterity? Um, crafting would probably be the better option for that. And nothing happened. <laughs> Wee. I tried it again, but well, well, apparently it's just giving me crafting now. So <laughs> well, we'll go for that one. There we go. Eighteen. Beep. Beep, boop. Beep, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. I can't do the noises. <laughs> somebody, 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 so... This so... one talks. <laughs> so, someone supply me um, cute sea robot noises. Can't. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's um it stands it stretches out its little legs. It stands up and skitters around, and looks at you, and strangulation mode engaged. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns to a face hugger. Yes, no. <laughs> yeah. For the sake of, do I have any device which I'll be able to tap into so I might be able to see what it sees? Um, just your hand terminal will be good enough for that. So you, right, you are. You just press. It. You don't need to roll for that. You just press a few buttons on your hand terminal, and you're looking at. You look down at your hand terminal. You see a picture of your own face. Right. I okay. knew I forgot to clean that bit of toothpaste off my. <laughs> Let's configure this a little bit. Look left. Boop, boop, boop. Look right. Boop, boop, boop. Look up. <laughs> look down. Move forward. Boop. Step back. All right, I'm not gonna look at this. <laughs> nice well done, Scott. Welcome to the team. It stretches out a little Impressive. pincer leg for you to shake. <laughs> I go down and I shake his little pincer. In the meantime, nice. why don't you strap yourself up here on my own with those little tubey out there? Well, if anything, this has got a new friend now. Oh, <laughs> I didn't expect that outcome. I'll be honest. Um, <laughs> when you return to Tycho Station, everyone's uh, dead. <laughs> yeah, not quite. We'll die. You um, oh, you reach you reach the you reach the docking area. Um, Tycho, the Tycho ground controller is a bit surprised because it's not the same ship you went out in. But they shrug. <laughs> they see. They've seen this sort of thing before, so... We're dragging it behind us? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You enter the main Tycho um, promenade. Um, you get the feeling that your friend Franco, who runs the weapon and gear store, might be able to help you offload some of that Martian cargo. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Ah, uh, Franco! <laughs> if you wish to, as by the by, you may keep some of the cargo if you wish. I want one of those automatic rifles, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> the automatic rifles are fine rifles, so they give you bonus to um, to attack. So are the pistols. I, I, want, I want one of the rifles. The I medium just... the medium armor is also fine, so it gives you plus one to its armor value. So I'm, you want to keep... I'm, I'm also wanting one of the armor sets. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go and take a look at that uh, cargo manifesto. Let's see what we've got left. So, uh, yeah, we've when got... it comes down, we've got six armor suits at the moment. We've got no security drones left. Well, <laughs> pretend, yeah. Well, we're 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 deciding what we're keeping at this point. So, uh, yeah. So, I mean, we could we could hold on to some grenades. I hear that they're useful every now and again. That they'd be very useful. I, I, so, if we hold I on to ten of those, their grenades, they could come in useful. I could go for the pistols. Well, that's, well we've got. Well, let's see there. We've got about 100 pistols and uh, 40 of the automatic rifles. We could just do about, say, 
If we take 10, you can mess around with some of them and then see if they potentially work for you. Well, and also, we could sell some as well, get some money. Well, exactly. Well, this they're is the thing. We're, we're deciding gonna what we're going to keep and what we're going to sell. We're selling like the majority of this. What I, what exactly. I, can, what I can do, what, what we can say is that if we take, you each take a pistol, a rifle, and an armor suit, and 10 grenades. Does that sound about right? That sounds, sounds better. Like yeah. Okay, so. Three armor suits, uh, yeah, and then. Uh, I don't know. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, there wouldn't be a, a, a potentially a, a techie scrap place which might be interested in the uh, two scraps of security drones. Again, you think you think you think Franco at the um, at the store might be able to help you with that. Well, we might be able to. Okay, they're a bit destroyed, but you know, parts it's, like you it's, said. Hey, it's scrap metal. Everybody needs scrap metal at some point. Yeah, exactly. So, you wish to go and visit Franco? I think we'll go Let's visit Franco. Franco! Hey, Franco. hey, Bratners, how are you? Good to see you guys. Uh, Franco, we did uh, all the good things. <laughs> uh, what can I do for you, my loader? Well, we have, some, we have some interesting items that you might want to take a look. I take it you hand him a terminal with your with the thing. <laughs> 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 hand him over the little terminal with a not only the little manifesto but a picture showing I uh, updated manifesto, might I add. <laughs> <laughs> but so just of the items which we're selling. Once again, we're saying that we're keeping a pistol, an automatic rifle each. We're keeping a suit each, and we're keeping ten of those dead grenades. And plus, he can have the two destroyed security drones. But uh, we've had a bit of an interest in. Well, adventures you might be able to tell. Well, but, uh, this is old Martian. This is you don't see anything. You don't see things like this every day. I tell you what, I have a contact with the OPA who will be able to take this off your hands for a good price. And um, did I see that you came in with a new ship? Oh yeah, well, you're absolutely right there. Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to, I want to talk. To, I'd like you to talk to a friend of mine over the dockyard. You see, um, not to be. Um, not to be Beat around the bush, but flying a ship with Martian colors is, um, it's, it's noticeable. You're going to get noticed. You... I know, right? I if wish you like, I was, I was literally going to say we need to like repaint that fucking thing. If you like, <laughs> yeah, we've got to stop and step off of the Martian. I know. We are trying our best. We are trying our yeah, best. Yeah, I don't yeah, understand why right. we get so much against us here. I, 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 t I tell you what, I, I know a guy, I know a guy, he can help you personalize it a bit. Maybe give it a new paint job, maybe give it a new system or two. Sounds good. Honest, you know? That sounds good to me. So, you have options here. The amount of cargo that you have brought is enough to give you an increase of plus two to your income for a bit. Or, you can upgrade your ship. And I'm going to give you some options for upgrading your ship. Ooh. Right. Well, let's see what we've got here. I will allow you up to um, stealth. Um, not quite quite enough for a new weapon on it, but you've got Aww. enough for anything else. <laughs> I saw Railgun. Right. <laughs> and, and how many of these qualities will we be able to change it around or just the You can just you can add one quality on with the amount that you'd make. Yeah. I mean plasma torpedoes sound pretty sweet. To be honest, a plasma torpedo does seem like it's a damn good idea. Auto dog can make intelligence medicine checks with plus two uh, bonus. For the sake of hidden compartments, we could probably try and make a few for the time being. They're not going to be quite as good as we'd be able to get in for the usual, but. Maybe we'll good things for, you know, hiding some smash special well, stuff. Well, this is the thing. When it comes down to it, it depends on what exactly we think we're going to be going and getting. I mean, now, the... We're doing small stuff, which we can hide away in other things. We might be all right. We might not need to worry about the hidden compartments just yet. But it's certainly something to think about for the future. But considering that at the moment we seem to be getting into quite a few little star little debacles, perhaps mm -hmm. those plasma torpedoes might just be the best idea. What do you think? I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm liking the plasma torpedoes. Yep. And how about you, sweetie? <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Right. Okay. In which case, I think we've made up our mind. We're going to be going for the torpedoes. Ah, good choice, Baratna. Good choice. I'll get to. I'll get to. Um... And of course, the paint job. Don't forget course... that bit. <laughs> yeah, please. Just change. Do you have any? Do you have any? Um, more. any artists on your crew who may be able to give us a paint? Uh, what the ship might look like? 
I maybe don't know who on earth you were hinting at there. Same <laughs> cause the steel of wool maybe would be good. Uh, okay. This is the thing. We, we like the steel of wool. But uh, we need to make it so it's a, a step beyond. We need, we need to... Uh, we, it makes the steel of wool less special. We need to think of a new thing. Exactly. It's, I don't think it... I In fact, I think it's bad luck to call two ships the same oh, thing. Oh, no, no. I agree. <laughs> I agree entirely. Um, Some thought will have to be put into this. <laughs> I think so. Um, I suggest that we all uh, vacate ourselves up to the nearest bar we can find whilst the work's being done and uh, debate this over several, several beers. It is on. Seven. It is on that note that we shall bring this session to a close. Um, just because <laughs> I want you to see all the hard work I put into this. These are the two decks you didn't go to. <laughs> This is the galley and the medical bay. Death deck. Ah. Look at the dead person. They're all dead. And I need to drink. He's got like a ball in the hand. <laughs> this is That's the like cargo it. bay, where you would have noticed mm -hmm. one. Where you would have noticed one of the crates open, and it would have had three indentations in it. Interesting. Uh. Almost like something had got on. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so. Thank you. Almost... A wild John has appeared, probably. John. <laughs> uh, not just yet. Before that, um, let's do what we normally do: go around the room. Um, let's start at the back end. Sean, what was your favourite moment of the session? Uh, what was my favourite part of the session? What was my favourite part of the session? <laughs> um, flying uh, the shit out of that ship was pretty fun. <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't very. I wasn't a very active part of that. But that was pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> if we'd have gone on, you would have been um, in in like, you know, damage control. But your ship never got damaged because of your pilot. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. You know, the skill and the skill which you hold is crucial to our team. Kit, um, Tani, what was your favorite part of the evening? The fact is that I had really good piloting ball skills. That, that <laughs> triple really six really well was piloting. amazing. That that three that triple six was amazing. Seriously, I was like, oh my gosh, finally! <laughs> you do seem to be getting all those brilliant rolls tonight, starting off from your luck roll of one hundred. <laughs> I literally personally thought I was gonna go really crap. Like like roll one hundred is gonna be like, oh, I've lost all my luck. Now I'm gonna go down. <laughs> then, no three d six, three sixes. Um. Ben. Well, for the sake of things, uh, actual combat-wise, my favorite section had to be when it, where I'm trying to sort out the computer and they're taking down the droid running <laughs> behind me in the corner. Felt so much like an action film where you got the hacker just randomly smashing at keys, hoping for the best. But my favorite part of the entire thing is that I got myself a new little buddy. <laughs> I got my little scout. I think my favorite part. So. You didn't see this, but on but um, the re one of the reasons why I had your car your lights like that, only forward facing, is so I could drop stuff behind you without you noticing. <laughs> ah. And just like you know, when you when you t when like you no know, that first time when like you no know, you guys were all at the top in the top room and I dropped a drone behind you and Sean goes goes uh what's that? <laughs> <laughs> well, that worked out really well. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty interesting. Uh, I must admit, that was quite good. I like the fact that it had a sort alien. of, yeah, it had that alien horror feel to it. And also, I was trying something different because in Roll Twenty, you can join join as a player or as a GM. I had two windows. Oh. I had two windows open: one as GM and one as player. And it was the player that was getting streamed out, so they wouldn't have seen it either. Interesting. Really is. Let's try that. See how that goes. But yeah. Again, thank you very much, everybody, for playing. I hope you enjoyed it. And with that, I'll hand you over to the other voice in the sky if he's about. Hello. Get back in the sky. Kill it. I, Kill it with fire. I, I dropped in also at this point because my stream broke down, so I wanted to hear what was happening. Oh. <laughs> thank you mostly to me for being around in the chat tonight. If <laughs> anybody else is here, please do hit that follow button before you go. If you haven't done so already, it means a lot to us, and it's a great way that you can support us and help us do what we do. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, the Feral Knights group are back together again for uh, a 18-plus D&D adventure. Yeah. You better uh, come with ID. 
thought you were going to go with something like you better watch out, like the um, Christmas nope, Carol. No, nope, you need you, ID. You better you watch out. You in. better not cry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I can cry, but it's not going to do much. And then on Friday night, uh, we've got the brilliant uh, Space Odysseus War of the Worlds restarting for the new year as the A-team work out what happens after you get knighted by the Silurian Empire. Told you the fucking sacrifices. <laughs> Other than the sacrifices, I told you we've got Zavix for that. Zavix is just unlocking his sniper realized. rifle well, and he's just af- gonna... After that, it's just a slumber party with nail, like painting your nails and stuff. Well, that's, that's fine. That I'm talking awesome. about boys. <laughs> it's fine. Um, and then... Oh my uh, god, the Emperor is so dreamy. <laughs> <laughs> and then on Sunday, I will be back in the GM's chair after everybody else has had a turn in it <laughs> as we continue the Tomb of Annihilation uh, where Are we? the group have been collecting crystalline eyeballs and hopefully they're going to work out what to do with them. I gotta go. <laughs> I'm not going to stay around for the Uh... <laughs> So that's that's what we've got coming up. Hopefully next week we will have a new final boss fight mod Minecraft mod pack uh ready to go. Modular magnificence. <laughs> Indeed. Um soon. 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 Um other than that. Check out the website finalbossfight.co.uk. I've been tweaking some stuff on it tonight, so go and have a look. It's all shiny and brand new. Um, next. next one I know of is not this Friday, because that's 18. The Friday after, we're back with the Princes of the Apocalypse. Yep. Where the, the crew will um, learn, well, the crew will defend a farm and maybe get a new member as well. We'll have to see. And, and definitely. This farm has never been defended in any other games. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> never. Not a single time. It's never, it's uh, never, uh, never used this bit. Definitely first the first time. time this has happened. Yeah, definitely the first time. Cut the stream, Jeff. Cut the stream. <laughs> Bye. I mean, goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.